So there's this giant building in Shenzhen, filled from wall to wall with blinking lights, moving arms, blinking eyes, robotic limbs, and machines so human-like you have to do a double take. Not a movie set, not a top secret lab. Just this year's FAIRPLUS 2025, the biggest tech and robotics expo on Earth. And what we saw there? You're not ready. Shenzhen is no longer just China's tech capital. Let's just say it straight, Shenzhen isn't playing around anymore. With more than 180 developers and companies showing off everything from semi-humanoids and AI limbs to robot cats and tactile sensors that can feel more precisely than your own fingers. Fairplus wasn't just a showcase, it was a statement. According to Morgan Stanley Humanoid 100 report, China now leads the global robotics race. And Shenzhen? That's ground zero for what might be the single biggest shift in human-robot interaction we've ever seen. Zalin SR won by Digit Technology. Digit Technology made jaws drop with its ultra-realistic humanoid robot, the Zalin SR1. If you've ever wondered what it might feel like to talk to a machine that stares at you like it actually knows you, this is the one. This robot can walk, grasp, and mimic body movements. It has AI-powered navigation that lets it understand its surroundings. But what got people really crowding around? The face. Zalin SR1 doesn't just move like a person. It reacts like one. The expressions are detailed, nearly lifelike, and its face muscles are so natural that some folks felt, well, uncomfortable. That uncanny valley you hear about doesn't seem like Digit got the memo. It watches you, listens to you, and can even recall conversations. Now granted, it wasn't speaking directly, it was connected to a floor speaker. Jinsan humanoid dolls. Then you had Jinsan intelligent technology. Their human-like dolls weren't even trying to walk or move like robots. They just stood there, with skin that was soft, elastic, and shockingly real. The models ranged from anime-inspired figures with digital eyes to advanced versions with eyeballs that follow you and pre-programmed head turns. But here's the thing. These dolls aren't just for show, they're flying off the shelves. From the US to Japan, Germany and even Canada, people are buying them. Are they emotional companions? Are they advanced mannequins? No one's really sure. Five robot by Tencent. Then, there's Tencent, a serious player with a very grounded purpose. Their elder care robot, simply called Five, doesn't have a humanoid look. Instead, it's a four-legged machine that can smoothly glide across flat surfaces and climb stairs when needed. It automatically switches modes depending on its environment. The skin is soft and tactile, its hands are human-like, and it can carry things like wheelchairs or trays. For the first time, Five was talking live with visitors at the event, and it wasn't just programmed lines. This bot felt like a real assistant, not just a gadget. Shenzhen DX on the flashier side of things, Shenzhen DX rolled out robots in full traditional Chinese gear and sci-fi uniforms. But behind the stylish appearances, there wasn't much intelligence. These bots weren't holding conversations or performing tasks. They were eye candy, meant to attract cameras and attention. Still, they succeeded. Crowds couldn't get enough, and with sensors slowly creeping into newer models, it might not be long before they start talking back. Unitary Robotics of course, Fairplus wouldn't be complete without Unitry Robotics. They've been making headlines for a while, especially after one of their robot dogs allegedly attacked an engineer in a viral video. Turns out it was a software glitch, not a rogue machine uprising. Still, the incident freaked people out. And not long ago, a security breach exposed the cameras on some of their bots, forcing Unitry to shut down third-party access. The company says the issue's fixed. Whether we believe that, well, that's on you. But even with all the drama, Unitry is riding high, especially with orders pouring in for its humanoids. Engine AI. You might not have heard of Engine AI Robotics just yet, but you will. This company was founded less than two years ago and already looks like a major player. In March 2024, they revealed PX5 at NVIDIA's GTC event. By summer, they dropped SA01, an open-source robot platform priced at just $5,400. It was in mass production by the end of the year. Then came their big boy, SE01, a full-sized humanoid using end-to-end -end neural networks for natural movement. And just when people thought that was impressive, they introduced PM01 in December, a robot that runs faster than a human and does forward somersaults. Already being tested in Shenzhen as a police bot, PM01 can push through crowds, talk via built-in mics, and even do an Atlas-style 180-degree torso spin. Wild. Robotera. 
Robotera's claim to fame might be their humanoid walking the Great Wall of China, but the real gem is their robotic arm, X-Hand. It's incredibly sensitive, with 12 degrees of freedom and precision sensors on each finger. It can handle tasks like picking up soft materials and also lift heavy objects, up to 25 kilos. Their humanoid robot showed up at Fair Plus 2, though mostly suspended and not doing much, which left some wondering how it would perform in real-world conditions. The Robot Cafe. Not every star at the expo was pushing science forward. Some were just serving up fun, like the Robot Cafe. Sure, they charged for the coffee, but it was still one of the most profitable booths at the whole event. But fans were missing one familiar face, Adam, the bartender bot. Known for mixing hot and cold drinks with flair, he didn't make it this year. Xgrids and Limex Tron 1. Xgrids is doing something slightly different, building LiDAR systems that help create digital twins. Mount these sensors on rovers, robotic dogs, or bipeds like Limex's Tron 1, and within 10 minutes, you get a full environmental scan. It's so good that Disney and game developers are already using it. As for Tron 1, researchers are loving it. It comes with three leg setups, can handle stairs, leap over obstacles, and run autonomously, semi-autonomously, or via remote. But it's not invincible. Slopes over 15 degrees, temps outside minus 5 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius, or obstacles over 6 inches, that's where it hits its limits. Still, with a 2 hour battery life and 20 kilogram frame, it's a versatile beast. Lingpang Technology. Another gem came from Lingpang Technology. Their robotic arms might look simple, but don't be fooled. These units are built for precision. They can handle up to 3 kilos, but their real strength is in synchronization. They're lightning fast, crazy accurate, and perfect for any task where every millimeter matters. Elephant Robotics. You couldn't walk past Elephant Robotics without spotting their adorable robotic pandas and cats. While these pulled in the crowd, the company's bread and butter is serious manipulators. From educational kits to collaborative robots, their lineup is wide. Their Mercury bot is edging toward full humanoid status, but hey, the pandas still stole the spotlight. Mind with Heart Robotics. Speaking of pandas, Mind with Heart Robotics Inc. had a very similar robot on display. Their focus is on biomimetic robots, ones designed to look and feel emotionally responsive. Control suit humanoids and Huawei's 5G robot. One of the more fascinating demos involved a humanoid robot in a control suit. This wasn't an exoskeleton, but a full elastic outfit lined with sensors. The operator would move, and the robot would mirror those moves in real time. Meanwhile, Liu Robotics, in partnership with Huawei, showed off a humanoid robot with built-in 5G. This means real-time location tracking without extra hardware, faster data collection, and more efficient training. They've even started serial production, around 200 units a year. Paxini Tech's 21st Century Centaur. Paxini came locked and loaded with three new innovations. First, their ITPU PX6 Gen 2, a lightweight tactile sensor that's both waterproof and insanely accurate. Then, the DEX H13 Gen 2, a robotic arm with top-tier sensitivity. But the showstopper was Tora 1, a humanoid upper body paired with wheels. This 47 degree of freedom machine is packed with 2000 micro tactile sensors and can sense forces as small as 0.01 Newton. It adapts to human behavior, interacts naturally, and handles complex tasks with grace. Realman Robotics. Realman Robotics might have one of the strangest names, but they've got serious hardware. Originally focused on ultra light, ultra precise robotic arms for high detail work, they're now making robotic massage therapists powered by AI. Their robots are already being used in hospitals for handling chemicals and delivering therapy sessions. Their core line includes mobile bots with one or two arms, cameras and sensors. And thanks to whole body teletraining and simulation learning, their bots can pick up new skills in just 50 sessions. Agile X Robotics. Agile X is another Chinese firm shifting gears. Once known for rugged robot platforms, think tracked machines and fast city runners, they're now entering the AI game. They've got a new high-speed manipulator and a control system that lets it operate safely in hazardous conditions. Their Agile X data platform also helps train these bots for custom industrial use, from search and rescue to chemical handling. Brainco Cyber Prosthetics. 
Brainco made serious waves with its latest cyber prosthetics. They showcased two versions, a basic one at $2,500 and a high-end one at double the price. The premium model has tactile sensors with an insane accuracy of 0.1 millimeters. These aren't just limbs, they're bionic tools with 11 degrees of freedom, six active joints and a load capacity of 20 kilos. Real applications, real performance. Damon Robotics, Damon Robotics dropped a full package system that connects control, sensing and physical interaction. The DMX is a portable robot controller. The DMTAC W sensor includes a built-in camera and 40,000 sensors per square centimeter, far more than human skin. That's shape, texture, and rigidity, all in real time. Pair that with the DM hand one, and you've got a robotic gripper that mirrors your hand movement with exact precision. Ideal for robot training and one of the most complete systems at the show, Dex Robot. And then you've got Dex Robot, taking a different path. Instead of building full humanoids, they're focusing on the hand. Smart, sensitive, compact. Think of it like a universal robotic hand that understands touch and delivers finesse on command. And they're all about teamwork. Instead of reinventing the wheel, Dex partners with other developers to build better tech together and move faster. Ston Robot. Last, but definitely not least, Ston Robot. These folks are flipping warehouse design on its head. Their system doesn't need racks. It's fully flexible and integrates into existing setups with ease. What stood out was their fleet management platform. Engineers say it's as simple as using a microwave. Still curious? Subscribe for more deep dives like this and follow us. The robot race is just getting started and you're already on the front line.